Good morning. Welcome to Ask Coffee Online. My name is Chef Caesar. Today I'm going to be making a uh, nice uh, Latin and uh, South American dish. It's called ceviche. You, it's most common around the coastline since fresh fish is a must for this uh, for this recipe. There's different variations. You know, depends what kind of country you go to. But you know, normally we use uh, ocean fish. I have some tilapia fillets here this morning. I'm going to be making. You can also use mahi, corbina. You know, some shark, even some mar marlin. And there's some other variations. You can also use shrimp, some uh, squid, or octopus, or calamari, that we call it. And I mean, I'm gonna be showing you the basic preparation. There's uh, a lot of uh, different recipes out there, but the key here is what we're gonna marinate this with some uh, citrus uh, juice, which is uh, lime juice and some orange juice. I'm gonna marinate this uh, fish. It's gonna give the cook appearance uh, to the flesh. Once it's done, it's gonna turn a little white. So it's not cook under heat. It's just basically marinated raw. And there's other ingredients that go along with this, like some fresh vegetables and some, some sauce. And uh, there's different ways you can uh, present, uh, present this. Um, let's start by cutting up the fish. It has to be cut into real small dice. That way, when you marinate the, the fish with the lemon juice, I'm sorry, lime juice or lemon juice you can use, it's going to work very quick. And uh, I'm going to start by chopping up, you know, dicing this fish into, uh, like I said, small dice pieces. Okay. Cut into little strips like this. And you must have some nice uh, fresh uh, fish. Ocean fish works the best. It's a much, you know, the flavor is mild. And tilapia is really, you know, easy to find nowadays. You can use other white fish, like I said, mahi, some corbina works really good. And if you want to try something different, you can also use some, uh, some shrimp, some uh, calamari, octopus, just depends. Like I say, if you go to like Costa Rica, they really go using you know octopus down there, some shrimp. Every country they have the little version, but you know, they it works you know basically the same. The way to prepare with the the citrus juice, it's how you basically you know marinate the meat. Let's cut into little strips like this, and go on a bias. And this is a really refreshing dish, especially in a hot summer day, you know. And make sure if you ever take a you know trip down to South America, try some of this, you know, wonderful dish they, they have down there. This is a version of the sushi for the Latin cuisine. So as you can see, the strips are pretty nice and thin because you wanna the lime juice to pretty much paint right really quick. You don't want to leave it there too long. We're going to marinate this for about 15 to 20 minutes before we, you know, take it out of the fridge and uh, add the rest of the ingredients. I'm sure you've seen this uh, dish if you go to, you know, Mexican restaurant, Peruvian. They definitely have this on their menu. And it's pretty much done, you know, fresh daily. This uh, will not last too long. You don't want to keep it in the refrigerator more than you know on a day. If you do it today, you must use it tomorrow. Otherwise, it was not. It's not gonna taste that they're fresh. Especially when you have you know seafood. So as you can see, they're nice and small dice. You don't want too big of chunks. It's a good way to practice your knife skills as well. One more piece here, I got. And also, you they, uh, like sushi. This is pretty close. I mean, it's a little bit different. I mean, the fish is not cooked under heat. It's just marinated with the lime juice that gives you the gives the cook appearance. It's gonna change to you know, the flesh can be nice and white. It's gonna look like it was cooked, but really, it's not cooked under any you know any kind of heat whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna you know, take this plate out of here, rinse my knife out of here. I wanna wipe my cutting board with some, uh, my bleach water before I go ahead and, you know, start chopping all the vegetables for this, uh, since we got some raw fish here. I got some towel. Okay. 
back in there. Now that you see, we have our fish cut up into little small ties. They're all tiny like this. We're going to pour over some of the lime and the orange juice I got. I squeeze uh, about a cup of lime juice and uh, the juice of one orange. We're going to cover this. Let's see, where's my spoon here? Okay. And we want to refrigerate this uh, fish with the uh, lime juice for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can even go a little longer. You know, and then uh, after that, we're going to take it out. We're going to drain the juice. We're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients that go for the ceviche. So I'm going to put this to the side right over here, my fridge. And I already went ahead and did some uh, fish this morning. I marinated some, so that way we don't lose any time. And as you can see, it's starting to change. You know, the, the color is turning white because uh, the acid's making, you know, the, the flesh look like it was cooked. But in reality, it's not cooked. You can, uh, you know blanch a little bit if you feel kind of unsafe and ease about you know doing this you can uh, you know blanch the fish and some uh, like fish stock real quick but that's not a proper way to do it but if you feel a little you know unsafe to eat this fish like this you can go ahead and blanch it real quick so it's gonna you know kind of cook the fish a little bit and then you want to marinate it with the uh, lime juice but it's just up to you now that we have our fish already marinated it didn't go for about you know 20 minutes but a little less but that's uh we're kind of short on time here, so I kind of went ahead and, you know, took it out of the fridge already. But this is what's going to look like. As you can see, it's starting to change the color of the flesh. It's turned a little white, so it's kind of doing its work. The acid from the lime juice, is, it's uh, breaking down the fibers in the fish. So we want to drain this juice from this fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we want to start cutting up our vegetables that we're going to be using to uh, make our ceviche. First, I'm going to do some uh, cucumbers. This is pretty much very refreshing. You know, it's uh, nice in a hot summer day. You can also use seedless cucumbers. That way you don't have to worry about taking the seeds out. And it's a very nice refreshing dish, as you will see. You know, I'm only going to do half a cucumber since I'm using less, uh, half the recipe. And also, I'm going to have the recipe uh, put up along with a video. So if you guys want to try to make this at home, you know, feel free. Especially those of you that live around, you know, coastal areas where you can get some nice, fresh seafood. Okay. Dice are cucumbers. And try to make everything, you know, the same size. That way, when you put it together, it's going to look nice and uniform. Okay. So, I'm going to small dice my cucumber. And you might find out that there's uh, a lot of different variations to this recipe. Some don't call for cucumber. Some do. And some, you know, have different ingredients in there. But again, you know, the concept, you know, preparing the fish is the same. Just up to you if you want to add some other different vegetables to your ceviche, you know. Okay. I'm going to add this to my bowl here. Next, I'm going to chop some tomatoes here. Okay. What? Just. We don't want the seeds in there, we just want, you know, the flesh. Okay. Yeah. And like I said before, this dish can keep, you know, one day. You don't want to keep it too long in the fridge, especially because we, you know, dealing with fresh seafood here. It's going to you know, go pay it pretty quick, so you don't want to, you know, keep it for too long. Make sure that you prepare it, you know, one day, and it's got to be gone the next day. Otherwise, you won't, you know, be as fresh as you want it to. And the fish going to, you know, keep, you know, cooking with the, with the lime juice. It's going to keep breaking it down, so it's going to become mushy. And you don't want that. You want to kind of have a nice texture to the fish. Okay. I got some onions I got. I used some red onions. 
I kind of chop this ahead of time because they make me cry. I don't want to be crying camera. I got a jalapeno pepper. You can use serrano peppers too if you like. And uh, you want to go around the main brains because that's uh, if you don't want too much heat. Otherwise, you can put the seeds in there. But be careful, you know, not to touch them with your fingers. I'm kind of used to this, so I just want to put the outside because I don't want it too hot. And you can be chopping this uh, your vegetable as well. The fish is marinating like I have right now in the cooler. So this is a really easy process, as you can see. It's not that complicated. Now I'm gonna add some uh, cilantro, some must have, you know. I got some nice cilantro here. I'm gonna chop this real fine. You can also use scallops, also you love scallops, it makes a great ceviche. You can either use the base scallops, which are smaller, you don't have to really cut them too much. And now, or you can use the big sea scallops and cut them down like I did. And they make a great ceviche as well. I love the scallop ceviche. It's a little more expensive, but again, it's uh, very tasty. Now that we have our ingredients cut up, I got everything in here. As you can see there. Got a nice blend of colors here. You can also use what, yellow, white onions. I use red because it gives it a little nice color because everything is, you know, the fish is kind of white. So you want to, you know, have some color to it. Okay. Now we want to add, I'm going to squeeze as much as I can from here, all the liquid. Okay. Then we're going to add our fish to the rest of our ingredients. Okay. I want to put a little, some hot sauce. I got some Cholula sauce here. About half a tablespoon or so. I also got a little uh, clam and tomato juice uh, blend here. You can buy this already done. Cut down to some of the acid from the uh, limes. And this is going to still Keep it marinating from the lime juice. The fish soaked a lot of lime juice, and you don't want to try to squeeze as much you can, but you know, there's going to be some left in there. You're still going to, you know, taste it, but it won't be its, uh, it's uh, sour, as you think, because there's a lot of liquid in the, in the flesh of the fish, so this is going to blend with the lime juice. It's not going to be its sour, as you, as you might think. Now I want to season this with some salt, some white pepper. And there you have nice, refreshing tilapia ceviche. Which you can really make very simple, as you can see. Now I want to, you know, plate this uh, ceviche. Normally you want to, you know, after having it down like this, you want to refrigerate it for, you know, half an hour so all the flavors come together. But since we're kind of, you know, Show on time. I want to show you an idea of how to play your uh, your dishes. I got uh, I have a nice martini glass here. Okay, I'm gonna put some in here. Okay, I got some uh, crackers. You can also see in some uh, Mexican restaurants, they make uh, a crispy tostada, you know, for uh, corn tortillas. And then they put some ceviche on top. They add some hot sauce. There's so many different ways you can present it, but this is a way that you can also do it. 
That way you have something uh, crunchy to go along with your nice uh, soft texture. Now I've got a nice avocado here. Okay. When I add some avocado. Slices. You can chop it up and put it over the, you know, on the top, but I'm just making uh, some nice slices for a presentation. Just breaking down in here. Okay. Now I've got some uh, little sprig of cilantro here. And one little more thing. Make a little lime wedge. There you go. Now here I have a, another way I'm going to present it. I made some uh, Parmesan cheese cups. It's a little plate and vessel I made. And you can eat this little, you know, this whole thing. So something you can also do. Fill them up like this. Oops. To clean my plate. And these cups are very easy to make. You know, you just uh, buy some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese and you uh, melt it in a Teflon pan like the one used to make eggs. Once the cheese gets melted, you put it upside down, maybe in a little cup, like a, something like this, like a ramekin. You put it upside down and put the cheese melted on top. It's going to get crispy. By the time you know you're done, it's going to be a nice egg and crisp. I'm going to get this out of here so it's not messy. You can serve this the whole thing and just, you know, you can take it. I think we have a question of one of our students. How do you make the Parmesan cheese cups? Okay, the question was, how do I make the Parmesan cheese cups? That's really easy. You just uh, buy some uh, some shredded uh, Parmesan cheese. You take a pan, a non-stick pan, Teflon pan, and you put it under, under heat, like real low heat, and you sprinkle some of the cheese. It's going to start to melt and make like a little, it's going to look like a crepe, okay? Once it starts to get brown in the bottom, you want to flip it over and put it, you know, in one of these little, like little cramping like this, upside down, and just have the cup, the little cheese hang over it. It's going to get hard. You know, once it cools down, it's going to get crispy, and that's how you wind up with it. So it's really simple and nothing, uh, nothing complicated at all. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop some avocado pieces to put on top of my little cups here. Okay. Nice and ripe. There we go. I'm just going to chop it up and put it on top, like I said before. So this is very simple again. As you can see, here you go again. Nice ceviche. You can do it different ways as presentation. I want to thank you for being here this morning. Do you guys have any more questions before we wrap this up? Well, thank you for being here this morning. I'll see you next week for another wonderful topic.